sensational. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. The YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Rashad Bateman made his long awaited debut in the game against the Chargers and it was a beautiful thing to see him out there but how did he do how did he look was he ready for the moment was it too much for him or did he do just fine well we're here to talk about that before we get into it though special shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons love y'all appreciate everything that you do for the entire channel for all the team keep it clean Appreciate it, whether it's from your questions from subscribers, whether it's from you just being a patron, period. We appreciate y'all, and shout out to all Team Keep It Clean as a whole, because y'all the real deal, man. Anyway, Rashad Bateman, uh, we of course know he was the Ravens' first round draft pick, uh, and a guy who a lot of people, especially myself, wanted the Ravens to draft, so when the Ravens actually drafted him, it was like, wow, Ravens, are y'all listening to my heart? But it was a beautiful thing to see uh, that he was finally out there on the field because we, of course, know he had his groin injury. He had the surgery for it. Harbaugh was like, oh, well, yeah, he could be back by September. And he was back practicing by September, but didn't play until the game from yesterday. But how did Ravens rookie wide receiver look? Well, looks-wise, he looked clean. That 12 was looking good. He had on a little visor and whatnot. It was nice to see him before the game, him in Hollywood chatting it up. Cause, I mean, hey, they receivers, so they're in the same room. They got to have chemistry. They got to know, get a feel for each other. But on the field, he had four catches for 29 yards. Now, are those any flashy numbers? No. Are those any big numbers? No. But one thing to point out. Every single one of his catches moved those chains. They all went for first downs. All four of them. And some people may look at that as, oh, it's insignificant. He only caught four catches for 29 yards. But he was a chain mover. Lamar trusted him to move those chains, move those chains, move those chains. First downs. And it was crazy to me because... With it being his first game, especially from what we heard last week, because last week it was that we were all thinking he was going to play. I mean, his trainer even put on, on Instagram, all right, it's game time. We ready. But when the report came out that he wasn't going to play, that wasn't the only part of the report that I was paying attention to. It said that the Ravens, they thought they, they could have him on a snap count against the Colts. But then at the last minute, they were like, ah, you know what? No, nah, we'll just let, let him rest another week. Let him be ready for next week. And... I was thinking, okay, this is his first NFL game. This is going to be the first time he's out there on the field. He ain't even playing preseason. So this, this is going to be the first time. So that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. And then with Sammy Watkins being out, it's like, yeah, I thought maybe his snaps would be increased a little bit more because of that, but nothing crazy. I'm like, he's he going to get sprinkled in here because we still got Duvernay. We got Proche. Uh, we even got Boykin, too. Now, I, I expected him to leapfrog Tylen Wallace because Tylen Wallace hasn't really been out there on offense. But as far as the other guys, I'm like, oh, yeah. Duvernay's obviously been here, and he's played a lot. Um, Prochet's obviously been here, and he's played a, a good, good amount of time. So he'll be behind those. Nope. Raven said, nope. They said, Rashad Bateman, you're up. You're up. It, it's your time right now. And they, they didn't hold him back. Like, they had this dude out there for a very, like, throughout most of the game. I believe that um, Lamar Jackson, I think he played 56 snaps on offense. And with Rashad Bateman, he played 45 snaps on offense. So th this guy was out there for, like, the whole game pretty much, man. He was out there a lot. And a lot of times I'm thinking, all right, well, okay, there goes 12. All right, he about to come off the field. Nope. I'm thinking, all right, well, this play, all right, 12, he, he was in there. Okay, he threw a block. All right, let's go to Rashad Bateman. All right, he about to come off the field. Nope. And then I was like, all right, well, okay, this play, okay, yeah, Rashad, oh, he about to come off the field. And he did come off the field, but he was right back on it. So the Ravens, they said, forget it all. Forget pro shit. Not, not in a this way, but 
They said, Rashad, you leapfrogging all these boys right away. So they know what they have in this guy. And they, they don't like what they have in Rashad. They love what they have in Rashad Bateman because actions speak far louder than any words. And their actions with the way that they use Rashad Bateman, that showed that they want this man on the field. And he literally, literally stepped in for Sammy Watkins. Literally. He stepped right in for Sammy Watkins. He took Sammy Watkins' role. Sammy Watkins, he been a chain mover. Sammy Watkins been making some nice catches. Sammy Watkins also had some drops too. And Rashad Bateman filled that role as well. Uh, but it's, a, it's crazy with, with his drop. It's crazy that um, we, I, I expected, if he was going to drop, I didn't really expect him to drop anything, but I was like, if he's going to drop, he'd probably drop like his first target or something like that. If he'd drop his first pass that comes his way. No, he waited till the end. He was like, all right, I, I can't bring out the shaky hands till the end of the game, till when, when the game is like over. And when it's over, over. Then I, okay, I, I ain't going to use my hands all the way. But it, it's it's all good, man. Um, just as long as it's not a consistent thing, that's that's all we don't want. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he'll make more plays than he misses, especially based off of yesterday. He looked good though. He had that little wiggle. He had the more. It, it looks nice, man. And I'm I was just so surprised at just how comfortable Lamar Jackson was with him. Like Lamar, like the way that Lamar was throwing him the ball. Like you, I would think, and I can't say you would think, but I would think. What I was thinking, like, all right, this Rashad Bateman first game, he ain't been out there in a minute. He been practicing now, so him and Lamar could have some chemistry. But at the same time, it's like he ain't been out there in the game, so chemistry might be a little bit off. I mean, not, it's not gonna be there the way it is with Hollywood and Sammy and Andrews and has been with the rest of them boys. But chemistry was just fine. It was just fine, and I was like. Just made me so happy. I was like, Lamar, you taking another step as a quarterback. You bringing on these rookie receivers. Even though you done did that already with Hollywood. But you doing it again. And you, oh, it was so nice to see. I loved it. And with, uh, with Rashad Bateman, yeah, he looks like he's, he looked like he had been out there. Looked like he had played in all the regular season games too. But the thing is now he... He eases the loss of Sammy Watkins. And again, we talk about how timing is everything because it is. Sammy Watkins, he went out with injury. And that was a big blow because Sammy Watkins has had a huge impact on this Ravens receiver room. Huge. Huge. And I remember I wasn't even too, uh, too fond of the Ravens signing Sammy Watkins. Not that I wasn't too fond of it. Afterwards, I was like, that, that can't be it. Because we know Sammy Watkins' injury history. I said, no, they, this can't be it. It can't just be Sammy Watkins. Mm -mm. I wanted them to go out and get somebody else, another proven guy. Um, but it's well, Sammy Watkins has worked out quite well. Uh, but with Rashad Bateman, just the element that he brings, that he presents. Uh, and, again, he filled in the Sammy Watkins role like that. Just like that. So I just imagine when Sammy Watkins comes back. <laughs> When Sammy Watkins, woo, when he comes back, oh boy, it, it, mm, that that could be something special, something special. Um, but it was really, really nice to see him out there. Now, uh, with the interceptions, it's crazy that both of Lamar's interceptions they came on passes intended for Rashad Bateman, and but it, it wasn't a, a chemistry issue though, because you could think that oh man, both his passes. Uh, both of his passes that were intercepted were intended for Rashad Bateman. Oh man, these dudes, the, the chemistry must be off. It must have, no, that's when you got to watch the game. Because you could hear that. If somebody told you that, like if somebody told me that and I hadn't watched the game, the first thing I would think of would be, oh, chemistry. Chemistry's off. Rashad Bateman first game. Lamar Jackson first time having him out there. Chemistry's not there. That's probably why he threw them two interceptions. No. First interception, all on Lamar. Second interception, all on Rashad. Uh, bo both of them. 100% on Lamar for the first one, 100% on Rashad Bateman for the second one. For the first one, Rashad Bateman was coming across the field. Nice route. Great play call. But Lamar, he ain't see 44. 44 jumped it perfectly. Boom. Pick. Interception. Not nice play by 44, by the way, who was balling in that game. But Rashad Bateman, um, that wasn't on him. But the second one, 
Lamar, Rashad Bateman coming across the field on the, the opposite way. Because before he was coming across the field going to the right, this time he was coming across the field going to the left. Lamar Jackson hit him. Rashad Bateman, he hit the bobble, the bobble Baltimore hands, and he dropped it. And he dropped it. And the defender made a great play because a lot of us were thinking, like when we were watching the game live, it was like, okay, in, in, incompletion. But nope, 44 again, I think. He, just, he picked it off. Interception. I'm like, man, Lamar numbers for this game, they're not the, the typical sexy-looking Lamar numbers, but I was like, ah, it's all good. But then, and that was after the first interception. But then after the second, I'm like, oh, man, that's ugly. But the Ravens got the, the pretty number, which was number five, because that was their fifth win in a row and their fifth win of the season, and they're 5-1. and one. So the interceptions, whatever. Ravens won a game. And they won it big, too. They won it big. Uh, so Rashad Bateman, as the season continues, he's going to get more and more involved. And it's, I wonder how it's going to be. And this is a good problem to have. When Sammy Watkins, when he eat enough bananas and drink enough Gatorade and his hamstring is back right, and he's back out there, too. Oh, my goodness. Like, think, like, when you seriously think about that, think about what Ravens are doing with their receivers now. And think about having Sammy Watkins and Rashad Bateman and Hollywood out there on the field. And, and then you still got Mark Andrews, too. You got Duvernay and Prochet and Boykin. <sighs> this thing could be something. It, oh, it already is something serious. And yesterday with that statement went over the Chargers, that just showed, like, Ravens, they, oh, yeah, they, they for real. They for real. But specifically with our wide receivers, this group, it's, it's been great, man. It's been great. It's crazy that for, for once, for the first time in a while, you don't hear complaints about the Ravens receivers. And that's so weird. And I think the biggest reason for that, the biggest reason for that is not because of Rashad Bateman. It's not because of Hollywood. It's not because of Sammy Watkins. It's not because of Lamar Jackson. I think the biggest reason that you don't hear complaints about the wide receivers is not because of Harbaugh. It's not because of Giro. But T.T. and Kiki. T. Martin and Keith Williams. That is the reason that you don't hear complaints about the wide receivers anymore because the Ravens went out and got some real, raw, wide receiver coaches. Those two brothers have meant so much to this Ravens team and so much to this Ravens offense and so much to these Ravens receivers. And we will not forget it. We got to make sure we mention them all the time when we talk about the Ravens receiver room because it consists of a, of a lot of the same guys, guys that we didn't had already. But now these guys are being played to their strengths. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Rashad Bateman for making a nice debut in the game yesterday against the Chargers. And we out. Shout out to Graven.